Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm William Brantley from the uh, North Jackson, Tennessee area on Walker Road, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's uh, climate uh, summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. And I'm going to attempt to insert a local on the 8th uh, from the Weather Channel somewhere along the video. <laughs> Alrighty, it was a, a pretty day today, but kind of weather chilly. Uh, was expecting that. Uh, highs uh, stayed below 50 degrees today, uh, but it's going to warm up again toward the weekend. And uh, looks like we're rain free until Sunday morning. That's the way it's looking right now. Kind of give you a little hint on the forecast there. Well, alrighty. There is uh, a couple of things I forgot to get, and I'm going to do that now. And it looks like uh, it's uh, going to be a few minutes before locals. <laughs> Bad timing. I never do get that. I should be able to remember that by now as to when to go on and when not to go on for the local on the 8th. I put that away. But uh, I've got some good uh, graphs to show you, so... For now, I'll show you the local locals on the computer. <laughs> I like making jokes about it when the other when I mess up the timing on when to put the other one in. Oh well, whatever. Well, let me go ahead and go on with the regular stats, and hopefully the video won't be too terribly long. Oh, and I did forget uh, some of my uh, Twitter friends uh, reminded me that I forgot to mention about uh, a meteor shower that took place across Tennessee uh, last night, and I can't even remember the name of it now. Uh, but it was sometime between 9 p.m. last night and overnight where there were several um, shower, uh, meteor showers going through the sky last night. Some of them were real beautiful and all. And, and uh, in some cases, I think I found one that was nice enough to put on my Twitter page or to retweet it from other countries in the world, not just uh, here in Tennessee, but other places as well. And I forgot the name of the country, too. So I guess you're going to have to go to my Twitter account and see it if you'd like to do that. But uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, going to be good tonight or not. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. I just knew that last night was one of the best nights uh, to uh, view that but we do have a few clouds trying to pass through from time to time so that may prevent from uh, seeing some of them but you can still look up just in case and you might see a sporadic meteor a meteorite uh, passing by uh, from time to time Alrighty, just thought I'd mention that right quick like that is a fascinating sight uh, for nighttime watchers Alrighty, uh, today, yesterday's climate summary, uh, low temperature yesterday here in North Jackson was 23 degrees. Now something big may be happening with me in about a month, but I'm going to save the details to closer to that time frame, about a month. Okay, that's all I'm going to say for right now. But as of uh, t uh, yesterday low here in North Jackson, Tennessee was 23 degrees. Uh, yesterday's high was 57 degrees. Had no precipitation, of course, yesterday. Uh, yesterday's uh, highest wind gust was 34 miles per hour out of the southwest at 2.23 p.m. Uh, yesterday's uh, coldest wind chill was 17 degrees at 6 a.m. Yesterday's uh, uh, hottest time was 58 degrees in West Tennessee at the Memphis, Tennessee Airport and at the National Weather Service office down there. And 19 degrees would be the coldest low yesterday morning in West Tennessee at uh, Lexington, Tennessee and at the Jackson, Tennessee Airport. That's a pretty good little difference. Well, that's a four degree difference between uh, the Jackson, Tennessee Airport and here in North Jackson. Sometimes that'll happen. They'll get a little difference like that. That's just the way the temperatures occur sometimes. Alrighty, on to today's climate summary. As of uh, 5 p.m., the skies were partly cloudy at that time. The temperature was 37 degrees. The wind chill was 33 degrees. 
The dew point was 23 degrees. The humidity was 58%, and the barometric pressure uh, was 30.05 inches of mercury, and we had north winds at 12 miles per hour at 5 p.m. Today's low temperature so far has been 33 degrees. Today's high was 47 degrees. Uh, no precipitation, of course, since midnight. <clears throat> and the lowest uh, humidity today, 49%. That occurred at 2 and 3 p.m. The highest would be, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be that, be 79%, is what I was trying to say. And that occurred at uh, 5 a.m. Today's lowest uh, barometric pressure, 29.83 inches, and that occurred at 12 a.m., while the highest would be 30.05 inches, and that occurred at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., and then again at 5 p.m. Today's uh, highest wind gust would be 18 miles per hour uh, out of the north at 8.53 a.m. at the Jackson, Tennessee airport. And incidentally, the coldest wind chill this morning was 27 degrees, and that occurred at uh, 5 a.m. Now, today's records for December the 14th, the uh, hottest high would be 77 degrees in 1984, while the coldest high would be 29 degrees in 1968. The warmest low would be 62 degrees in 1948. And the coldest low would be, no, not the coldest low. Yeah, yeah, that's right, seven degrees. <laughs> that's, I, I was reading it a little wrong there. It looked like 70, but it's the way I wrote it. I said, no, that can't be right. The coldest low, 70. Boy, <laughs> that'd be maybe in the summertime sometime, but uh, not in the, this time of the year. Seven degrees would be the coldest low today in 2010. Well, it's not that long ago. Kind of chilly back then. Uh, rainfall record, uh, 2.76 inches, and that happened in 1971. And snowfall record, we did have a trace today on December 14th back in 1968, 1983, and 1985. Of course, that means it didn't stick, obviously. It wasn't a measurable amount. We probably just had some snow flurries, and uh, all, but did not amount to anything on the ground. And that's why it's called a trace. Well, alrighty, that's it for the basic um, climate data. I guess I'm ready to show you some of the graphs that I normally show you. And uh, maybe here in a couple of minutes, there might even be a, a local on the eights. <laughs> if not, don't worry about it. Uh, okay, let me get this adjusted here. And I'll turn it around so that you can uh, see it too. AccuWeather's uh, radar. It looks good at this point. As you can see from this picture here. I almost hate to even lift it up. It's such a good view right there. <laughs> uh, Tennessee's clear. Clear around us. Looks like some possible light snow way up there near Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, between there and... Uh, and uh, what is... Uh, Owensboro, Kentucky, up in that area. Nowhere near here, though. Uh, still no snow around here. Uh, okay, let's go to regional, since we are so clear. And it looks like, uh, well, it's got uh, no precipitation around here. Uh, looks like a little bit of rain and uh, even patches of snow over in the Plains states, over there in Kansas and Nebraska, but really nothing in our immediate area. I put that way. They get a good close-up view of Tennessee. That's a good view right there, my friends. All right, of course that pin we're pointing toward uh, Jackson, Tennessee. An orange pin there. Here's the national view. 
And really, it's still not a whole lot going on in the U.S. There's some patches, patches, patches if I can get it out, of snow in different parts of the country. And a little bit of a mixture of rain and snow in the mid plain states. A little bit of rain down there around the uh, El Paso, Texas, and then to a Mexico area, a spot down there. And looks like some down there around the Texas coast, down there and near that area. And other than that, the country's fairly clear, looks like. Yep, looks fairly clear for the most part. Well, other than those, that area of snow that's to our north. But don't look like no big, big organized area there. Well, alrighty. Uh, let's go on to the satellite picture then. Uh, looks like uh, satellite wise. Let me get it moving. I think I get Alright. There you go. Let's, you see the second bus. There's a lot of clouds to our south. There's Tennessee. We've got a few clouds out there now, but they're thin, as you can see. And a little thicker to our north, but they're moving east. And there's some thick clouds to our south. My goodness, look how thick that clouds are. From about Tupelo, Mississippi, southward. And it looks like it's trying to move, uh, well, most northeast. <laughs> they may be dealing with some clouds later on tonight, my friends. It looks like it's coming on up, though. I was going to say moving due east, but it looks like it's east-northeast, so... We're kind of stuck in the middle of two areas of clouds. Uh, thinner clouds to our north and thicker clouds to our south. And we're in the middle with clear for now. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts, I guess. Alrighty. And let me see. Look at the national southeast view. Uh, well, it looks like... Uh, that might, the clouds to our south, they might go by just south of us, maybe. Or we'll catch the northern fringes of it early in the morning. And then the same thing to our north. We're going to get kind of being sandwiched in between the two areas there, it looks like. But for now, we're fair. And let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> At least for the time being, anyways. Hopefully, we'll remain fair, and those clouds will just tease us by getting close, but not actually moving through. The boy's gonna be close though, with the way those clouds are moving, real close. And otherwise, there you see the where the clouds are, and woods fair, of course, and all that good stuff. Information. I meant to, meant to say. Alright, that's a good view of the, of the satellite for you. Alright. Uh, I guess the weather, I'm going to go back to Weather Underground's surface map. That, that one seems to show up better uh, on, uh, on my computer. Or on these videos, anyways. There you see where the fronts are. This one shows precipitation, but in, in, in a pause mode, I guess. Our spotty areas of snow, as I mentioned earlier. Not widespread, though, and few spots of rain, even. Just not in our area. We got uh, stationary front to our north and south, and a low over the Carolinas. It stretches way out to New Mexico. And there you see the other maps and fronts and where they're at. And all. Alright. Let me see. Let me get a little closer. <laughs> Brother Chandler's playing tricks on me tonight. I've been through 
two segments and no vocal on the eights. I guess I want to start doing my videos earlier. The between six thirty and seven, they don't show that many. Oh well. All you get is the local conditions and a quick seven-day forecast. But I like their uh, graphs that they have uh, when they show that too. Though that's the main reason why I do it. Uh, but you get enough information this way too. All oh, no, that you really need to know. So that's a closer vo uh, view of Tennessee right here. Radar just updated, but no changes for the aerial coverage, though. Let me zoom in one more time. Get a little close to Tennessee here. Now you see the station there front to our south because of those uh, thick clouds we saw a few moments ago. And there's that front to our north. And we're right in the middle of both of them. Luckily, so far, with fair weather. Alrighty. I'm going to move on to the readout forecast. I call it, uh, it, it shows up better. Well, I can read it better than showing it to you. At least I think so. I hope it doesn't bother you to me doing that. I'll make a little minor adjustment to the camera here. I'll go ahead and start doing that as of right now. I'm going to go ahead and stick with fair skies. Even though you saw uh, those thick clouds to our south and a few to our north, uh, they appear to be moving uh, literally right between us <laughs> to our north and south. The south one has a little bit of a motion to the northeast. So if the clouds, because the sky becomes a uh, little mostly cloudy overnight, maybe in the morning for a brief period, you know why. But as of right now, that's, that's supposed to leave Jackson alone. Maybe southern West Tennessee might get affected a little bit more than us. But uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and stick with fair skies for the rest of tonight. Mostly clear skies tomorrow. Uh, with that said, we should have a low temperature tomorrow morning of 25 degrees, which is, uh, I think, uh, cooler than what it was this morning. Of 33. Now we might have a new low at midnight, but uh, what about that at midnight? Uh, 25 degrees, like I said, would be tomorrow's morning's low. 48 would be tomorrow's high, which would be about the same as we had today of 47. We have west winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour, and, uh, and the uh, sun will be rising uh, tomorrow morning at. Uh, 6.57 a.m. be setting tomorrow evening at 4.43 p.m. The moon will be rising at 4.24 a.m. tomorrow morning and set at 3.20 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. And on Saturday it still looks fair skies at this time with a low near 30 and a high of 57 with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour and we still have a chance for rain for Sunday morning at this time. Uh, mostly cloudy skies with an 80% chance of some rain until about noon and then the sky the rain will quit but the skies should remain mostly cloudy for the remainder of Sunday. With a low near 39 and high of 53 with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour and on Monday mostly cloudy Till noon, then becoming fair, with a low near 45 and a high of 61. <laughs> Monday's going to feel good being 61, with uh, west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. I'll go ahead and give you Tuesday, fair skies, with a low near 45 and a high of 64, with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, next Wednesday, mostly clear, low near 36, high of 59, with east winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Next Thursday, fair skies till noon, then becoming mostly cloudy, with a low near 39 and a high of 63, with south winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And it looks like uh, fair skies... Uh, going into next weekend also at this time and of course next weekend be kind of leading into the Christmas weekend 
uh, say next Friday, uh, the 22nd, fair skies, low of 38, high of 49, with north winds of 10 to 20. Next Saturday, the 23rd, fair skies, low near 30, and high of 49, with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. I would say Christmas Day, but it keeps changing every day, literally. I think it's supposed to have been fair as of yesterday. Today, rain's back in the forecast for Christmas Day. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to leave it out until it becomes uh, uh, a part of the nine-day forecast, and then see what it says then. But right now, it will back to the possibility of cloudy skies with a chance of rain on Christmas Day. Oh, here's a local right here. Let me get it real quick. <laughs> Finally getting it. 37 out there right now. All right. Wait all course is clear here. Twenty-six tomorrow morning, is that what I said? I can't remember, I'll have to look at it again. Oops. Let me get that back in there. About 47, that's about right. That's close to what I said, I think. And tomorrow night, 31, with clear skies. That'll be Friday night, won't it? I think. Oop, let me keep getting it out of the screen, don't I? And there's a seven day outlook at a glance. That's Sunday's rain. It's going to get nice toward Tuesday, 65. 64. Oh, any that has a glance of it. <laughs> hey, I just gave you the basic information on the forecast. Now you saw a graph of it. All right, well, I still got it in there. The part that I really wanted to get in there the most. Uh, see, what was uh, that uh, for the morning? 2548. That's pretty close to what they just said. And then I got the moon information in there for you. Uh, okay, I think that I think that covers everything. Well, all right. Um, good night. God bless. I hope to talk to you again tomorrow evening. And happy shopping. And uh, I'll talk to you later, my friends. Thank you for tuning in and watching.